Hello everybody, Minus Storm here. Welcome back to Hearts of Iron for Turkey. In the last episode, we kind of held our ground, bided our time, uh, holding up in Istanbul, where our defenses were, fortifications, and just kind of let the Bulgarians and Yugoslavians kind of uh, beat themselves against the wall there. As we waited for our manpower and our equipment to recover a little bit, and also just kind of observing things are going on. Um, the Yugoslavians and Bulgarians have formed a joint government, now called the United Balkan Federation. Um, Italy and the Germans have kind of pushed them back a little bit. They're also pushing the Austrians, or Austria, Austria, Hungarians. But Austria Hungary is making some inroads against the Soviets. The Soviets are pushing the Iranians back. Well, those are, those are allied forces in Iran. Um, the Japanese are dealing with an American invasion. But they're also making a lot of headway across. Well, China's completely capitulated. Um, yeah, there's a, there's a whole bunch of stuff going on here. Spain is making a lot of headway in Africa. Though France is retaken from the Soviets, but now the Germans are pushing through France. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We, we, get, we, got, we got some stuff going on. And right toward the end of the episode, we initiated another offensive and were able to push out of Thrace. We are now back into Bul what used to be Bulgarian territory. And we are making some significant progress. So, we're going to see how far we can get here. If we... Our forces combined with the uh, Central Powers can put the squeeze on the Balkans. And then we might have to see what we're going to do there. Alright, well, let's just go ahead and unpause it here. be very nice if I could cut these troops off. Let's see, you, you guys actually head this direction. Looks like we broke through. Good. Destroy those guys. Get some reinforcements in there. Right, very good, very good. We still have air superiority in the right areas here. Good. Looks like we sunk another transport. I'll, I'll take anything we got. We are behind on equipment, but we're 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 still doing all right. We're still doing okay. We really do need more tanks, but well, really, we we just need more guns. It's, Ultimately. Infantry equipment is, is more important. We're making some headway here. Can you guys put some pressure there? Not really. Don't, don't waste don't waste manpower and equipment in that fight. Or go ahead and waste manpower and equipment in that fight. No, no. Actually, keep them pinned down. Keep them pinned down. Alright, 
right, now we're making some headway here. Oh, we've taken an airfield. All right. Uh, grab my planes. Let's move them forward. Very good. Ooh, we've got some military factories. Dump them into guns. We apparently need more steel. Well, we'll just get what steel we can from whoever we can. Or whomever we can. Put some pressure there. All right, more military factories, more guns. Actually, let me just take a look at one thing. What's the current war situation? All right. This is the war. United Bull Confederation. We have them at 33%. What is the participation percentage? 72%. All right. So that means that if we do manage to win this thing, we're going to have a lot of say in the peace conference, which is good. We need to get to Sophia. Oh, looks like the British Raj is not sending me tungsten. Wow, no one is really willing to trade tungsten. The Soviets are, so we'll get some tungsten from them. Uh, we could probably, is there any like deposits we can develop? There's some factories we can modernize. Chromium, oil fields. Nothing for tungsten, but there are some steel oil, uh, steel mills we can build eventually. The People's Republic of Spain has declared war on the Kingdom of Italy. All right then. So now. The uh, central powers are at war with the entire planet. Okay, the Austria-Hungarians are at war with the entire planet. The Soviets, yeah, basically everybody's at war with everybody. Okay. All right, what do we have here? Court the Spanish, cleanse Iberia of Bolshevism. You know what? I think I'm going to take cleanse Iberia of Bolshevism. Will give us a war goal. We don't necessarily need to use the war goal, but it'd be nice to have it in the pocket to use whenever I so desire. We have a war goal against the Hellenic Republic. That would be uh, another part of the Allies. Uh, Maybe. Maybe. Well, looks like we've bogged down a little bit. Oh, we are way behind on infantry equipment. All 
right, looks like one of our generals was wounded. Board observers. All right, advanced fire bases. All infantry, recover rate, organization, tanks organization. Yeah, grab it. And spend the experience to get it faster. More steel. Uh, let's see. Sweden. Send me more steel. Yeah, we're definitely bogged down. I'm actually going to go ahead and tell our guys to stop. Let's see if we can hold the line here. Let our guys recover a little bit. Poland wants to sign a non-aggression pact. We'll sign a non-aggression pact, but Poland, sure. All right, dispersed industry. Oh, yeah, we're way behind on this stuff. Um. Okay, so yeah, this should hopefully let my guys recover and let them rebuild some planning bonus. All right, numbers are starting to get in the green. We need to get that production efficiency up. We're in seven days. Okay, so how are the Italians and the Germans doing? Uh, Poland is now at war with the entire world. Okay. They were not a moment ago, but they are now. Oh, they joined the Central Powers. <laughs> that makes sense. That should put some... Well, that's putting some pressure on the Soviets. Um, and that should also put some pressure on, on Austria-Hungary as well. We'll see. Hundred and fifty eight days, three hundred forty one days. 297 days. I don't think we're going to be waiting like almost a year to resume our offensive. We need more steel because Sweden is not sending it. Alright, let's see if Spain can send it. We need more civilian factories. I need to reduce my consumer goods. I need to change 
probably a war economy here. But what I also really need to do is... Hit this... Uh, ac no, 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 no. We need to entrench Kamalism. Still keep poking down here. Alright, there's our improved support weapons. More. More guns. Uh, let's see if the Soviets can send us the steel. don't want to switch to new guns because I'm trying to improve improve things here rather than or improve my production and that only hurt my efficiency here so what might we want to do improve my reconnaissance improve my logistics Yeah, we should probably start improving some of this. Right, what's your issue? Your problem well, your short infantry equipment and your short tanks. Yeah, that's that's the problem. They definitely seem to be putting a squeeze on Austria-Hungary. The Soviets are really kind of squeezing down Iran, but then they got to get through Iraq, and then, well, then that's their ally. Spain is their ally. Well, they also got. The, uh, India there. They're also fighting across this entire front, so... Hmm. Construction four. Oh, French commune declared war on Upper Volta. Upper Volta has joined the Central Powers. I don't know where that is. There. Oh, they're gonna get just destroyed. Maybe. Zangalese German War. The German Balkan War. Gabon. French Commune declared war on Gabon. Three hundred forty five thousand casualties, one point four million casualties. Yeah, we uh are definitely inflicting a lot more casualties on them. What's the resistance looking like? It's, it's something of an issue. 
Can you guys get in there and root out some resistance? There we go. And British hegemony. Gains a puppet focus war goal against the United Kingdom. Gains a puppet war goal against the French Commune. I guess we'll go for France. It basically was just bypassed. All right. All right, so these are not mutually exclusive. So what's this? Victory or death against communism. Gains a toppled government war goal against the Soviet Union. Huh. Restoring our nation's pride. Gains the national spirit golden age of the wolf, which grants political power gain plus 15%, stability plus 15 Yeah, we're going to grab that. How are we doing on that infantry equipment? Still way behind. I could use some lend lease. Uh, who are you at war with? The Germans? They are 7,000 in the hole as well. What about the United States? Uh, how are they doing? Or is that... No, that's our production. They will not accept. Okay. Yeah. Can... can... They're going to send us 7,000 guns. Yes, give me 7,000 guns. All right, so let's grab that improved computing machine. Uh, let's see. The Navy really does need some work. Uh, it's January of 43. Some better close air support aircraft. So you were gonna send me some guns, right? Congo. Yeah, the French are like losing all their colonies. Upper Volta has capitulated. Yeah, I pretty much saw that one coming. Molly. Cote d'Ivoire.
The French are now putting some serious hurt on Italy. I have really got to start making some headway here. French commune has declared war on Syria, I'm betting. Yep. I don't have to worry about that. stuck yeah send me some stuff I could really use it well what I need is the Germans and the Poles to push through Austria-Hungary and start putting pressure on the Balkans. We need some rubber. Okay, Vietnam, send... Then what you got? You have some dockyards. Oh yeah, because we were actually building some dockyards, weren't we? Um... Central African Republic. Rome has fallen to the French. I guess I just, uh, Niger. Yeah, that's kind of the one bright spot here, is that France is losing all of its colonies. Um, at least for the Central Powers, anyway. There's probably tons of American forces in France, if I had to guess. There goes Chad. People's Republic of Spain has capitulated.
All right. Like, I can't get rubber from there or there. I need five. Peace. No possible trade routes can be found. Yeah, we're kind of cut off from rubber. That's unfortunate. Well, I'll take what I can get. I might need to think about synthetic. Yeah, we're probably need to start researching synthetic refinery so we can make synthetic ru synthetic rubber. Some more military factories. drop down the export focus here at some point. We're also not getting the steel I need. Well, People's Republic of Stain, uh, uh, Stain, of Spain can't send me anything because they don't have anything. Austria-Hungary can't send me anything because they don't have anything. So France is going to have to uh, send me stuff. All right, what is this? Base stability down, war support up. Turkey demand returns to 1920 borders. Turkey adopts dangerous foreign policy stance. Set the role can create factions. Well, I mean, we already have that role set. Interesting. I'm not entirely sure I want to go down this route just yet. Um, I mean, these routes are not mutually exclusive. Bomber schematics join the allies. See, that's where you would that's where you would break, right? And same thing here. You can get down to this point. Um but then you wouldn't be able to get any further than that. I think what I might just do for the time being is hit the resistance uh, suppression. Austria Hungary. I don't think they're in here. German Austrian War. They are at 
92% towards capitulation. Basically, if they can just take Vienna, it'll be over. Kingdom of Italy has capitulated. We're going to see what happens to the Germans. Is there a peace with everybody else? Slight concern. All right. Well, we're going to have to stop here. Um, I'm going to have to see where we're going to go or, or what's going to happen. We are 61 days from getting all of our infantry equipment taken care of, 209 days from our artillery, 154 days support, 232 days from light tanks. I'd at least like to get infantry equipment squared away and maybe get a little bit of stockpile before I resume. You need tanks. Yeah. Well, we'll see. Alright, but for now we'll stop here. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.